Hello and welcome to the OAC Rife Gallery's do-it-yourself version of the Creative Writing Workshop. We'll hear from Carrie first, gather our materials, and work through the project step by step. You'll need to pause the video to read the poems and work at your own pace. Enjoy. Well, hello, everyone. I'm so happy to be here with you today, and um, I'm so glad you could be with me. Um, before we get started, let's think about what you might need to have on hand. And if you need to pause while you go and get what you need, that's just fine. You'll need a journal or a laptop or maybe a sketchbook or even a, uh, some loose paper and a pen or pencil to write with. Um, however you like to write is great. Just make sure you've got enough room to fill up a few pages. So what I like to do before I begin is I just like to take a few big breaths. Just kind of center yourself in your body and within your environment. And just to warm up, let's answer these few questions. Why did you decide to come to this workshop? Where do you feel shut down? Where are you currently finding sanctuary? What do you need to know? So let's move forward. I would like you to read this poem. Just take a few minutes and read it to yourself. What the Dog Perhaps Hears by Lisa Mueller. So I'd like to give you a prompt based on the poem that you just read. So list all of the things you can hear right now. Now list all of the things you cannot hear right now. So let's move forward again. I have another poem from you, this time by Jane Hirschfield called The Weighing. And I'd like you to read this one and think about it for a little bit before we move on to the prompt. Our next prompt is, what is the world asking from you? And now, moving on, our next poem is by A.R. Ammons, and it's titled Eyesight. I'd like you to read it, take a few minutes with it, think about it. What is the poem trying to tell you? So our next prompt is about how we begin to see what is possible because we've talked a bit about grief. So now let's talk about what's possible. So make a list of what you have lost. Now make a list despite of your losses that you find worthy or beautiful. Now answer this question. Today I am, and fill in that blank, today I am, and then you tell me I am a taste, I am this color, I am this song, I am this smell, I am this funny thing that happened to me this week. Okay, let's move on to our next poem, which is why one of my favorites, Naomi Shihab Nye, it's called Fresh. I think you're gonna really love this one. So our prompt for this is to think of an object that makes its way into your life regularly. 
okay, an object that makes its way into your life regularly. So again, I want you to make a list of eight attributes concerning this object. So use your senses, color, texture, shape, smell, sound, taste. Now compare it to something else. How is the object used? Now answer these above questions about the favorite artwork that you selected from the show. And write about what the artwork wants to teach you. And here's our very last poem and what a time we've had. This is, it's the pumpkin beer talking and it's by Matt Kalari. It's a long one, but it's worth your time. Take a few minutes to read this joyful, fun poem. Now you've read, it's the pumpkin beer talking. So what I want you to do is go back through everything you've written this evening, <clears throat> as well as adding additional thoughts. And then I want you to write a letter to yourself about how you might be able to contribute to either growing or disarming a global issue that you champion on a personal level, right? So starting with praise for yourself and your acts of mindfulness and building from there. Great job, everyone. You have spent a good deal of time reading and thinking about this issue of mindfulness and how we can be a, a, a positive influence in what's happening globally, starting with what's happening locally. Thank you so much for having me this evening. I've really enjoyed my time with you. Everyone take care and come visit the life. Big thank you to Carrie for sharing her wonderful talents with us. Folks, if you need more Carrie Gunter Seymour, you can always follow her on Instagram and Twitter and catch her on her website. Thank you again for joining us for the Shift Thinking Globally, Acting Locally, Creative Writing DIY with Carrie Gunter Seymour. I'd like to give a special thank you to Maria Seda Reader the curator of this exhibition, and to the governor's office, the Ohio legislature, and the Ohio Arts Council's board who support this great space.